adopted we claim that such views are divine we claim that this is what God says some even quote the Bible and back such views but I'm here to announce to you that it most of those are not true one of them is that the world shall be shall be I can tell you that people's lives have been cut short against God's will my Bible told me that Jacob was was destined that Esau should bow down to him. But because of the corruption of sin and error, we read that Jacob fell down seven times before Esau in Genesis chapter 33. I can tell you that a lot of machination and scheming that goes on in this world happened because of what Satan and men and the agents of wickedness have brought upon the earth. The Bible recorded in Acts of chapter 12 that Herod took James and killed him. When he killed James, the reason he took Peter was that that killing of James made the people glad. So Peter was not in prison for any crime. Peter was not in prison because Herod really hated him. But Peter was in, in, in prison as a Christmas, Christmas gift to the Jews. Oh yes, you don't like the Jews of the world. He was a Christmas goat. Sacrifice, by the way, it was a time of the Passover. They took Peter and put Peter in prison. And the intention was to kill him. And we saw that if the church had not risen at that time to pray, Peter would have been killed. I want to show something else in the Bible. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 24, from verse 24. Several days later, Philip came with his wife, Drusilla, who was Jewish. He sent for Paul and listened to him as he spoke about faith in Christ Jesus. As Paul talked about righteousness, self-control, and judgment to come, Felix was afraid and said, That's enough for now. You may leave. When I find it convenient, I will send for you. Verse 26. At the same time, he was hoping that Paul would offer him bribe. So he sent for him frequently and talked with him. When two years had passed, Felix was succeeded by Portius Festus. But because Felix wanted to grant favor to the Jews, he left Paul in prison. Peter was killed, as a, uh, Jesus was killed as a gift to the Jews. Peter was to be killed as Passover lamb dashed to the Jews. Here again, Paul was left in prison just to make the Jews happy. As simple as that. And I can tell you there are men today whose pro promotion in the office is delayed just because the girlfriend of the man said, leave that boy for prison, that's all. There are people as we are talking today whose marriages are held down just because an auntie or a, somebody in the neighborhood Say that girl will never marry as long as I'm alive. I can tell you that there are some areas where the church in that area, the conspiracy against the church is the imagination of men and the areas of witchcraft in that territory. In this case, Paul was in prison for two years just because a man won a bribe. Number two, he wants to make people happy. And that is what we call the scepter of wicked. The rulership, the government of oppression. Then the Bible said the person in charge is wicked. 
Bible told us that when the righteous rules, the people rejoice. But the people are left in agony when the wicked is in power. They are left in agony because when the wicked man is in power, the land are trying the wrath of God. Bible said when David sinned against God, my kind of census, 70,000 fighting men died because of David's error. The error in the life of the man caused Saul, the king of Israel, brought judgment of three years of famine upon Israel. People suffered and died for it. When our rulers are in power, that are in power and they are wicked, they represent the rulership of the wicked. And Psalm 105 verse 3 said that if this thing persists, if this condition persists, they are falling away in the church. That asked that asked that 24 verse 26. Bible said under that condition, Paul was in prison. Do you know how many believers were discouraged? Do you know how many people that say, ah, where is the God we are praying to? And that is why the church needs to get up to understand the principles. That we need to get up and know that when wicked people are in power, it affects the land. It affects believers. It affects churches. It affects even the faith of people. Because the Bible says when you are, you are for something and there is a delay, a desire delayed where is the soul. A desire in your spirit and it is delayed where is the soul. And that is why we are calling for prayer today. And we say that the scepter of the wicked, now that's God's counsel. Now if you want to know God's will about a matter, look into the tenses used. He said the scepter of the wicked, the government of the wicked will not remain upon the lot of righteous. He did not make a probability. He said in God's will, in God's counsel, it will not remain upon the lot of righteous. If you discover that that thing is remaining upon the lot of righteous, just know that it is not God's will. We saw that in Matthew chapter 13 from verse 24. The man came to his master and said, who, who corrupted your seed? I saw you plant good seed. Now I see tests there. He said, even though I planted good seed, the enemy came and infiltrated with tests. I tell people every day that marriage is there by God to make us happy. But devil has corrupted marriage. Church worship is there by God to make us glad, to make us find peace with God. Certain is for prophets and false ritualists have entered the church. Every time you see a man and a woman, they set together, even in the school. God's idea is to create harmony. For Bible says, how wonderful and pleasant it is for people to dwell together. He said, that is where God pours his blessing. But then will come and corrupt such gatherings with gossip, with lie, and all kind of corruption. And when he does those things, that what the result is that the opposite of God's will begin to happen. If we see the opposite of God's will, we should understand that it is not the will of God that the scepter of the wicked should remain upon the lot of the righteous. And that is why, as we read that Psalm 125, that word, he said, The Lord shall lead them away. Now look at that word, Psalm 125. Psalm 125, verse 3. Are you there? Psalm 125. Verse 3. Yes. Yes. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good. Mm -hmm. To those who are upright and high. Verse 5, everybody. But those who turn to crooked ways, the Lord will do what? Read that again. But those who turn to crooked ways, the Lord will banish with evil doers again. But those who turn to crooked ways, the Lord will banish with evil doers. And what will follow? Peace be upon Israel. Now, what we are saying is that there is also a decree. Those who turn to crooked ways, those who turn to ways that are not straight and not right. All court is a crooked way, full of deceit and manipulation. Witchcraft are crooked, crooked ways. It's full of corruption and wickedness and destruction. Anything devil does is a crooked ways. And Bible says that God will banish them. And I always tell you that the Lord said in Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20, say you are my battle axe. Anytime you read something in the Bible and Bible says this is God's way, you have God's authority of air to enforce it. Do you hear me now? Anytime you read anything in the Bible, 
And you notice that Bible say that in this kind of situation, that there should not be barren in the land. And you see a barren woman. God is telling you, this is not my will of barrenness. So you do what? You enforce God's will and banish barrenness. Anytime you see miscarriage, and the woman said the baby is going out. And you know that Bible says, no woman in our midst will miscarry. What do you do? You superimpose God's will and banish miscarriage. Somewhere in the mind by Abraham 22, the Bible says, is there no bam in Gilead? Is there a vision there? That means God has no plan that will stay with sickness and live with sickness. Sickness is Satan's will. Anytime you see sickness, you say, in my name, they shall lay hands on us, they shall be healed. Jesus Christ is anti-sickness. And he's going to impose the will of God. Anytime you meet demons, mess up people's life. It is not possible beyond that demonic, demonic oppression. That is why Jesus Christ spent most of his time on earth imposing God's will by casting out demons. You are the one that will act on it. So when Bible says he will banish the evil doers from the land, he is expecting you to do it. I think he meant to that. Yeah. I say he's expecting you to do it. You to do it. And that is why he gave me the Holy Spirit. He asked one about and he said, You shall receive power when the Spirit of God comes upon you. And you shall be my witnesses. A witness, I tell you, is a person that was there when it happened. A witness who saw it and he knows it. When the Holy Spirit comes upon your life, he brings the reality of the Christian faith into your life. He brings the very reality of the testimony of the Lord Jesus into your life. And the reality of Jesus' testimony is that Jesus is a light. In him there is no darkness eh, at all. Sickness is darkness, poverty is darkness, causes are darkness. And how do we darkness cannot abide in the place where Jesus Christ is Lord? For Bible says where the Spirit is Lord, then there is what? Liberty. And it is our place today to overthrow every scepter of the wicked. Say by the power in the name of Jesus. Say by the authority in the name of Jesus. Of wickedness, every, every, every controlling power of wickedness, over my, my life, over my, my, my destiny, by the power in Jesus' name, I, I command you now, some assault, some assault, some assault, and be destroyed. of the wicked, every chapter of evil, cheating over my ministry, cheating over my life, cheating over my finances, cheating over my destiny, cheating over my career, by the power in the name of Jesus, I command you to some assault, some assault several times, in the name of Jesus, some assault several times, in the name of Jesus, some so several times in the name of Jesus, whatever you are, wherever you come, by the power in the name of Jesus, I command you now. Some assault, some assault, some assault, some assault in the name of Jesus. We are going to command Holy Ghost fire seven times. I'm going to send the Holy Ghost fire as a missile anywhere they have our image, they have our property. Any human being that like Fe Felix that is sitting down saying that my promotion will not come, my will not be released. As we shout this Holy Ghost there seven times, fire shall hit him. I am not saying what will happen to the person, but what I'm saying is that fire shall hit the person. Amen. Any evil altar where they have my image or my picture or say we bind the body there, we bind their health there. I will shout this Holy Ghost there seven times, fire shall hit them. Amen. I am not going to say. What will happen to them? But what I know is that fresh I need them. Amen. Any man or any woman have taken an assignment to make my life or your life miserable. As we shout Holy Ghost fire seven times, what I know is that fresh I need them. Amen. I don't know how the fire will affect them. One, two, three, go. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost.
Kakamuko Kakamuko Rama, continue to pray, continue to pray. Continue to pray, continue to pray. Continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray. Continue to pray. Tonto Loma Katabushi Lemaya. This is your brother, my angel, most of P. No matter what, Hawk. Plus two, three, four, eight, zero. Three, five, seven, two, four, five, two, six. I want to hear from you. Remember this anointing in Jesus' name. Amen.